Hey guys, it's Emery. So today's video is going to be a lot different than my normal video. So you guys have noticed that I haven't been posting as frequently as I used to, and you guys saw my Seven Rings cover that I recently posted with my hair up. And you guys were like, what's different? You guys could kind of see that there was something different. And some of you guys kind of knew, some of you guys couldn't put your finger on it, but basically, I got my ears pinned back. And this is a surgery that people will do starting at the age of four, and I'm 11, so that's really not, it's, it's not illegal. Some people were commenting that, that it's illegal, it's not, because I know there's gonna be so much hate, but I just wanna say, if you're telling, if you're putting hate on this video, you're probably the same person who called my ears huge, so. So yeah, I didn't do this for anyone, I did it for me because I was not happy with what my ears looked like. So let's just get into the video. Emery's sitting here waiting for her pre-op appointment. Emery's sad. She's <laughs> <laughs> not doing anything today. We're just going over everything they're gonna do. Weighing you. See, see if the skinny legends is enough to See have if surgery. she's too skinny of a legend. <laughs> James Charles here. <laughs> Are you excited about getting ready? your ears done in a couple days? Get ready. Why do you take everything out of here? Because he's trying to hide and run around. Mommy, get ready. As soon as you get there, you're going to put <laughs> something <laughs> under your tongue. She's sitting on Emery to calm her down. <laughs> it's like a gravity blanket effect. <laughs> It's a gravity blanket. Caleb wants some skinny. That's why he's barking. You're gonna put something under your tongue. Under your tongue. Benny. And then it will you make you go say? like this. You guys tear apart your toy. And then you'll say. Then they'll say, give me your arm. And then you go like this. And then they'll go like this. Did you know they're gonna go zoom? Tell oh, yeah, you really feel. I hate this. We just got done talking to the doctor and the videographer who's gonna be there tomorrow. And it's kind of exciting. You get to wear your sparkly boots. There's a lot of good ideas. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, cool. It's going to be okay. Mommy, <laughs> stop bullying me. You can't be afraid. That's what makes life exciting. If you didn't know, this is my first surgery, and I'm having panic attacks. For like three days. God. The airport. Usually it's the airport. Okay. Yeah. I look All so her, weird. Look at that over tail. You look comfy. I know. Hi, Ann. We're driving down to the doctor right now. Like Early in the I morning. Like the I don't like this. Like the doctor said, if you weren't scared, then it, you wouldn't be normal. <laughs> You gotta keep your phone there, now I can see Maybe it. Maybe you'll dream a song. <laughs> An original song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Yay. It all 
motherfuckers are standing in a circle talking like a gang. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> She's in her most natural form. <laughs> Show us your pretty face. <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> Yeah. I know. Let's With see. Pajama pants and socks I feel and really tennis short. shoes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm only wearing um. A zip up. Yeah, I'm only wearing this and then a bra. A bra. Even though I have nothing to hold, but. <laughs> Who knows, you might come out with boobies, too. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Okay. Oh, that's what I meant. These stay on. Yeah. Everything from the waist down stays on. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Yeah, like, After we get you kind of like set up in the operating room with all your monitors, then we're going to give you a little sleepy gas, and you'll go, asleep, go to sleep the rest of the way. <laughs> you look so tired. <laughs> tell her, Doc. Tell her what's going to happen. <laughs> well, basically, you're going to go to sleep and then you're going to wake up and everything will be done. Here we go. Let's do it ear to ear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Ear to ear. How about it? You want to give some thumbs up, honey? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, that's, that's cute. One more, just in case. One, two. And look at me, baby. One, two, three. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm going to surgery with my vitamin lights. No. <laughs> <laughs> with her Yeti pajamas. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not four five. Okay. So, um. There she goes. Oh, you. All right. You want it on that side or this side? Yeah. Okay. Pick one that. And then we'll get the Christmas tree on her and all that kind of stuff. All right. Once we get her turned, we got to get her centered in the camera. Are you ready? Sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, push her back in half hour. Okay, hang on to that. Okay. Yeah, uh, what we need to do is set this up and make sure it's what you want it to be. Yeah. I'm pretty good.
about as good as we're going to get, huh? All right. Make sure the donut is in place. Make sure I can turn the head. Make sure I can turn the head. I'm going to do all that stuff. All right, little mm. Miss Emery. It was quite a challenge getting you here, but you have the very typical um, uh, uh, form of someone with prominent ears, as we call it. But uh, basically, you're missing the antihelical fold, and you're missing, and you've got a very large what we call conchal bowl. So the first thing I mark is what we have to recreate to give you a normal anatomy. All right, here is the antihelical fold that comes to a Y. All right, so the beauty of this is <clears throat> once we're in the middle of surgery, we can actually fold that, weaken the cartilage on the other side, and stitch it together to create that fold. All right, then we mark the incisions. The first incision is going to be deep inside uh, the sulcus, the conchal sulcus here. It usually goes the entire length because we got to work on the entire length of the ear like that. Now we know she's going to have a bunch of excess skin, so I like to leave at least a centimeter of skin like that. And this is the skin that's going to go away because after we pin this back and pull the ear back, that skin is just going to be redundant. All right, well, sit down uh, back from the surgery. They've talked about Okay. Okay. What's going on? Nothing. Yeah. Give you what you really wanted. as we give them all. sure we have not too overexposed. All right. First thing we do is we make an incision along the skin. 
skin we're going to remove. All right, we know we're gonna, we might have to take a little bit more skin off the top. She's so tiny, but this gives Really? Good. Oh no. All right. Now we've got to set that back to there. So we can get an idea for what it would be. Anyway, what we want to be able to do is to go straight back, and we don't want to torque the ear. And the strongest part of the ear is like right there. Right there, you can see all the different structures come together. Here goes back. Voila. Anyway, now we can see the difference in her ears. You know? Thank you. All right, let's go to work. Turn the head back. Here we go. Uh, Amy, we're going to be closing shortly. That's a perfect little screenshot there. Okay, you want to get a shot from above? Okay. You want a ponytail to come through the top? Probably cute, huh? You can take the drink. Hand right over the top. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you take that thing out. Take the donut out and put your hand directly underneath there, just like that. And hold it right. Okay, hold. Can I hold that? Scissors. Yeah, it's okay. Take it out. That. There you go. Disconnect tube for me. Nice. 
tiny little girl. I think this. I think that'll be it. Because it's not too tight around her neck. Keeps her ears tucked in there. She has her little ponytail. And we're done. Okay, you want us to stick around for the emergence? Okay. Okay, sweetheart, you did great. Dave? Okay, sweetheart. We're done. Uh, the Webster type of otoplasty was you no know, ideal for her. In any event, like I said, you can see the post-op photos were just great. And they stayed back by themselves. So all the sutures are dissolvable. Put a little packing in her ear to kind of like help set that back and hold it, hold the um, uh, ear skin back to the uh, place where we took it off and that should be fine in a couple of days so when we take the dressings off uh, she'll be relieved and then um, the um, I, I did put some local anesthetic in there so that should last another hour and a half um, so that should make her more comfortable so I think we're set Good news. Okay. Well, done. Yeah, it took a lot longer to get her prepped than it did to actually do the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, pretty much a flawless procedure. Not much bleeding at all. And uh, I'll show you the uh, before and after. Just before we put the dressing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's actually one shot with one ear done and the other one not. Okay. Yeah. And then there's another one that you know has both of them set back. And they tend to spring back, so I tend to overcorrect just a little bit because I know they spring back a little bit. But they're not going to go like that, like what she did before. Like I said, a pretty flawless surgery from my perspective. It looked really good. And, uh, I'm so excited for I know. I know. And I didn't even have to put any drains in it. It was, it was that dry. So oh, that's good. good. Oh, good. Pretty much <laughs> So she likes grilled cheese sandwiches, huh? Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh. Uh, you ought to go take her to Henry's Tavern. They got the most outrageous <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches there. So does yeah. Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland has really good grilled cheese. <laughs> well, you should take her to Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also have, uh, as a little surprise to her, you know, we know that the llama is her favorite animal besides guinea pig. So we got her some red llama socks and she'll wake up in them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really that's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we do that for our kids. Oh, that's really nice. She'll love that. Yeah. In any event, 
um, I just say stand up for what you believe. So, um, they are slowly waking her up. Mm -hmm. They want her to wake up really smoothly. And um, I put a little more local anesthetic right behind each ear. Okay. So hopefully it'll be completely numb for another couple hours. Yeah. Then she'll wake up and she has this kind of like football helmet on. Do not take it off. <laughs> as much as she will complain. Don't take it off. Show us your ears. Oh, your I cute am? ears. Oh, I don't want to show my ears. Show us your cute ears. Those are my ears. Beautiful. <sighs> now Emery has perfect ears. So you said you got your ears from your mom? Yes. <laughs> she has the same ears. They were so popular, you passed them down. Yeah. your head on my belly or there we go right, my belly's not big but it's better <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, just go ahead. Here, can you show it to me, baby boy? Yeah, he has to rest. He has to rest. Oh, he give me lovies. He give me lovies to her. Look at my lovies. There he is, giving lovies. There he is, giving lovies. <laughs> How do you feel now that you made it back home? See, it's all done. You feel okay? I, feel actually head, feel, I don't feel, I feel my ears, but they don't feel. Oh, he's giving me kisses. I feel my ears, but they don't feel like they hurt. Well, because he, he's put numbing stuff. <laughs> oh, he's giving me numbs. Okay, this is in about an hour after we got home. How are you feeling now, honey? Tired. Tired. She still has her cute hair down. She'll have that for a couple days <laughs> until Friday. She did a good job. <laughs> He's tired because he got up early. And my medicine. Yeah. <laughs> get your first meal I feel surgery. better. I actually don't feel that bad. I'm just, I uh, can't hear. You look pretty wide awake right now. What? You look pretty wide awake. Yeah, I'm not that tired. <laughs> um, everyone's commenting, oh, my small bean. <laughs> my throat hurts, though. Look, well, she had a tube down your throat. I got llama socks. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> well, you think, Kayla? What do you think? Gonna get all better? Gonna kiss your all better? Give the kissies. Hi. Give the kissies. This is your first appointment. It is. It's actually my second appointment. Is that how old you are? Yeah, I'm 26. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's actually my second. But I'm just excited. You know, I'm just like, it's mine. I can't wait. Oh, crap, 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 crap. My cousin goes first. I just woke up. And I'm reading your guys' comments. 
and you guys are being really nice. But I feel better because I think the anesthesia is kind of leaving. So I feel a little bit better. My dog knows. He keeps protecting me. Kaden! Yeah. <laughs> And you also took a painkiller, so that helps. Yeah, <laughs> and I am icing myself because my jaw hurts. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. This is about... This is about seven hours later after. <laughs> and it actually doesn't hurt. Like, I thought it was going to hurt a lot worse, but it doesn't hurt very bad. My dog knows. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to experience that kind of thing. I think everybody can appreciate, you know, what you went through. Mm. But you heard what you I'm about to eat because I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten anything but popsicles today. Well, that's your answer in this situation, okay? Hey, this is like 24 hours after Henry got her surgery. Hair still up in a bun. How you feeling? My ears feel fine. My jaw hurts so bad. And it hurts under your chin with your bandage. <laughs> this is how far I can open my mouth. <laughs> Maybe it's just sore from surgery yesterday. Tomorrow I take it off mm. and I get to see my ears. Oh, she looks pretty good 24 hours after. Did you sleep good last night? Yeah. Good. Okay. You taking care of her? You taking care of it? He's been protecting me since yesterday. <laughs> Get him done. Yeah. You taking care of her? Give it a kissy. Give it a kissy. Okay, we're on our way for her post op. No more chili, Chubby. Yeah. Look at how she has an orange head. This is right before she gets her hat off. This adult, <laughs> this is awful. It looks like she's just wearing a hat, though. Maybe you only had to wear it for like a. I don't two know. Days. You guys couldn't see yesterday. I have marks. We had to cut it because it just got so tight. I was like, literally, like, okay, I'm going to die. Like, I'm being strangled. So. Your head was we had to cut this part, that's why it looks ridiculous. Um because <laughs> it looked better before. It's like kind of like uh oh, clip there. Well anyway, uh, you know, like I was saying before, this is kind of an important important uh, I think. You know, and there's some people that are gonna say, Oh, you're too young to have this, but you know, this was your just be scared. See? That's all there is to that. Oh, I'm so okay. excited. <laughs> Alright. It's the big reveal. I guess I could probably leave that on. Yeah, I could probably leave that on. Let's see, your head, your ears are still covered, but I don't want to accidentally cut your hair, so I got to figure out how to. Been there, this. done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet you before. have. She put there. straws for curlers like in her hair. There's and something really heavy on my ears, off. and it's slipping. Yeah, yeah. really heavy. Yeah, it's probably the. It's the stuff you Probably the dressing. Yeah. When was that? Right now. Your ears are going to be free. I'm kind of deaf. Well, that's I'm because so of that. <laughs> the packing that's in there that's kind of like keeping pressure. I'm on. sweating so hard. <laughs> Hang on to that llama. Remember, no needles here. Yeah, thank We're just taking off layers and layers of dressing. Dun dun dun! Didn't look like a blood very much, which is good. Alright, let's get rid of that. Oh, Wes, look how much I've seen in there. What's that? What was it? <laughs> there was little marks on her. Oh, what was digging in? Yeah. Oh, that gauze isn't very. Oh my gosh. Isn't very soft. They look so good. <gasps> da da! Look at them. Oh, I what are you panicking for? <laughs> They're perfect. Yeah. You shouldn't be hurting. You didn't hurt with Did the, hurt the dressings. A little tiny, tiny bit. But, but oh my god, not, not anymore. 
They don't hurt? Yeah. You're going to be swollen. You're going to be red. <gasps> Look okay? at me. Look at me. Turn all the way. Wow. Oh my oh gosh, different. they look so good. What are you crying for? Because you're happy? Scared of what? Scared, honey. Scared of what? Scared of what? Look in look the mirror. mirror. No, there's a mirror right there. You can actually look in your phone. I mean, she's used to doing that. Look at them. Wow. They're right where they should be. And you have They're not all... even that swollen. No. Why not? not I was yet. thinking. Give them, a, give them a day or two. Oh, they will. You <laughs> they, they tend to get, no. they tend to get more look swollen. Really good. But they look perfect. The, uh, what they call the anti helical fold is all there. Yeah. Which is this crease right here? That's important. And the little bowl of tissue is is smaller and it's laid down flat, so it's kind of like. Don't you love it? So we're gonna clean you up just a little bit with a little. Pride.